Good morning everyone and this week at NLD we have a Jaguar I-Pace in for PPF and ceramic coatings. We also have a C43 in for a pre-sale valet and today I'm back up to Detailing Kings in Market Drayton to help them with yet another special project. On the way to Deep Tailing Kings now in Market Drayton. Uh, we're about 25 minutes away uh, and I can't wait to show you what the car is that we're going to be working on. It is truly a British icon. So guys, it's now Tuesday. We've not actually filmed anything today, but I'll give you a quick update now of what's been going on. Right, so the main job today was the Jaguar I-Pace, as I showed you yesterday. So we've made some very good progress on that today. The Porsche is still there at the moment, but as I said, the main focus is the Jaguar I-Pace. So the front end PPF has now been applied. So if I quickly show you, you won't even really be able to see the edges on this. So the full front end PPF, the bonnet will be fully wrapped, the wing there, all the sections here, the wing mirrors have also been PPF'd as well as the B pillars. Now that the PPF has been applied, Callum started the multi stage paint correction, so this side is looking a lot better, then he needs to go around the ne other side next. So other than the eye pace, Toby's just been cleaning his golf as he's got a trip back down to Market Drayton this evening, so that's going to be a fun journey for him. But other than that, that's the main jobs for Tuesday, so I'll pick it back up with you tomorrow. So guys, it's now Wednesday, let's show you where we're at. So it's Wednesday afternoon now, but we've had a busy morning, um, mainly focusing on the Jaguar I-Pace. So now that's in a good position to be headed out later this afternoon, we can start work on the Porsche Boxster. Right, so as I mentioned, the Porsche Boxster's up first this afternoon. So Toby's going to be cleaning this outside the studio, giving it a full decontamination before we bring it in. This is actually only on 18,000 miles, which is very low for a car of this age. So it should be in good condition. Other than the Porsche box stuff, we'll go inside the studio. The guys are just fixing one of the machine polishes, I believe. Hello. Cadbury's will visit the studio today. Right, so as I mentioned, other than the Porsche box stuff, this Jaguar I-Pace is in a good position to be going home with the customer today. So, so far it's had the multi-stage paint correction, as well as the single layer of Sunwork Pro 9H and obviously the full front end has had PPF as well. So I'll throw some clips on screen of that PPF being done. But as you can see, the front of it's looking fantastic. Wheels have also been coated with wheel and caliper. So they're looking really good now as well. And then after this Jaguar I-Pace, we've had this Mercedes C43 dropped off as well this morning. So this is in for our pre-sale prep package. So whilst it's there, it's gonna have a full decontamination, interior clean, as well as a single stage paint correction, just getting it ready so the customer can list it for sale once it leaves us. This is a nice looking car. So guys, it's now Thursday. Let's show you what's going on in the studio. First up this morning, we've got this Volvo XC60 in. So this is just in for our maintenance wash. So a lot of our customers choose to do this just to make sure the car's in safe hands. If I show you around, a lot of people don't realize that when you take your cars to the hand car washes, it's actually causing more damage than good. So it's always good to get your car cleaned by someone who takes care of it if you can. 
So other than this Volvo XC60 in the, inside the studio, we've got the low mileage Porsche Boxster. So this is, been making some good progress on this this morning. Callum's gone around and protected the roof. So that's looking a lot better now. Next up for this is the mode stage paint correction. So that will just remove any more annoying imperfections that's on the car. The wheels are off the car now as well, so that means we can clean the faces and barrels of them before coating. And finally, other than the Porsche, we've got this Mercedes C43 in. So this is going to have a full decontamination outside the studio, and we're going to bring it in, give the interior a good clean, just to make sure that it's looking as good as possible for the customer. Hey everyone, so I'm on my way to Cox Automotive to fit some PPF to some Heritage Land Rover Defenders. So guys, it's the end of the week now. We've had a very busy week at the studio, so um, let's quickly show you around what's going on today. Right, so first up, this Volvo XC60. So this was shown earlier on in the week. Um, so this is still with us. It was in for the maintenance wash, so that's been done. However, now the only requested we had some PPF to the interior parts. So the screen and a couple of other parts on the interior here have got PPF on. So I believe this is being collected by the customer today. So other than the XC60, we have this Defender that's been brought down from a dealership. So this has just got some interior work that needs doing. So Toby's gonna get on with that this afternoon. But that's a really nice spec Defender. Inside this studio, um, we've got the Porsche in, so that's nearly ready to be collected. Um, it's looking fantastic on the ramp. So quickly show you that and we've also still got the Mercedes C43 in so this is nearly done with the, uh, the single stage paint correction what the camera's been doing so this is looking a lot better than when it came into us and finally as I mentioned this Porsche so this is only on 18,000 miles and now the condition of the car is matching that as well this is fantastic. Let's have a look. No imperfections at all on the paintwork. So this just needs a final layer of top coat as well as the wheels coating and then this can go out to the customer as well. So guys, I'm wrapping up episode 9 of this week at NLD here. We've had a very busy week at the studio but obviously that's what we enjoy doing. If you need any detailing products, head over to the store or click the link in the description as we do have our own detailing range. Whilst you're on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you in next week's video. Thank you.